We're here in Toronto with legendary author and uh, Wiki Revolution expert Don Tapscott. Don, what is the Wiki Revolution? Well, it has a whole new meaning as of uh, six weeks ago. Uh, it used to refer to collaboration that can occur on an astronomical scale, but now there's a revolution in actual revolutions that up until uh, two months ago, all revolutions were led by a vanguard. And now because of social media, peers can come together. The internet radically drops the transaction costs of dissent. And that means that, that you can have a wiki or collaborative revolution that brings down an old regime, but where there's no leadership ready to take power. So it's a very powerful and exciting thing. It's also problematic. So we're seeing how it impacts the target governments in the developing world. How are Western governments going to adapt, adapt to the Wiki revolution? Well, th th there are a couple of sides to this. One is that the revolutions in Northern Africa and in the, the Middle East are uh, fueled by uh, injustice and unemployment. Uh, they're powered by peers, especially young people working together, and they're enabled by the Internet. And you have those conditions in many other parts of the world, including the United States. Now, in the U.S., people aren't treated as subjects, but there's 23% youth unemployment. The, the Tunisian Revolution was called the Unemployment Revolution. There's 40% youth unemployment in, in France, 30% in the U.K. So the so-called jobless recovery is an oxymoron to most young people. Um, you know, they're coming into the workforce, they're the most educated generation ever. At their fingertips, they have the most power, powerful tools for finding out what's going on and, and organizing collective responses. And they come into the situation where the promises that my generation made to them about having a prosperous life, if you work hard mm -hmm. and stay out of trouble, that those promises were not true. Mm -hmm. So there's a potential generational explosion here that can make the 1960s look like kid stuff. So the the revolution will be wickified. I think is that an appropriate way of summing up what's going on? Well, it is. Um, it is being wickified. And, um, you know, because people can now collaborate. And just like transaction costs in business are dropping because of the Internet, and that enables us to move away from hierarchical uh, vertically integrated corporations to networks, like say Cisco is a, is a network, not a traditional corporation. Well, similarly, um, the internet will be what we want it to be, and it turns out that millions of young people want it to be a tool for organizing for social justice and for freedom. So should the U.S. government and Western governments be using technology tools to promote political change, or should they just let the people in those countries get a hold of those technologies and do it themselves? Well, they should do both, but they're not, they're not doing the former. I mean, what happened in the Mideast was not a result of our systems for global governance and problem solving and so on. They happened despite that. You know, young people had to fight against the existing world order mm -hmm. to bring about this, this change. And to this day, I hear people saying, oh, this is a big disaster in Egypt. In all these countries, you know, it destabilizes the region. It's going to be a danger to Israel, and it ruins U.S. foreign policy. Well, tell that to the millions and millions of young people who are risking their lives to try and bring about a better world. And you know what? They're not going to stop. In Egypt, in Davos, people are saying, no, nah, Mubarak will hang in there. Uh, you know, these kids will eventually give up. No, <laughs> they couldn't give up. Because if they gave up and the whole thing collapsed, the regime would come after them and would kill them. So the stakes are very, very high here. So we need to change the way that we think about, uh, about these situations. Wonderful. Don Tapcott, Wiki strategist and author of the great books uh, Wikinomics and Macroeconomics. Thank you very much for joining us.